It is really frustrating, you know, being safe two times in a row. I don't understand the judges, and especially when I'm also not understanding why the judges are picking the top three that they're picking. I totally feel like in the judging, I should have been in the top. It was awesome. The silk jumpsuit was amazing, and then I did a fully lined sequin blazer that was able to be taken off on the runway. This trompe l'oeil jumper that I did in turquoise was fierce. I mean, when you see it on screen, it's gonna pop through your television, and people are gonna wonder why it was not chosen. I totally represent a disco, and I totally feel like it was an amazing party-stopping outfit. Right off the bat, there I am, I'm, I'm delivering you a jacket with lapels. I mean, it's Nine West, they sell shoes. If you wanna show off a shoe, and a lot of people did like long gowns and long dresses. The winning designer will be featured in the Nine West fall ad campaign. I didn't meet the requirements of the challenge. I designed a long, flowy dress, so that I knew already was not gonna work. But I knew that there was enough design within the dress that I would not be sent home for it. I noticed in the judging, all the short garments that showed off the legs and the shoes were in the top. So I was like, ah, oh, I see. Because, you know, I mean, they need to see the shoe. I did have my pants a little shorter so you can see the shoes though. I'm still wondering why I wasn't in the top on that one. Curio cabinet.